Okay, example two. Before we go to example two, let's take a look at the yellow sheet I gave to you. Uh, we have these symbols. Um, so it looks like kind of a curvy E and then a curvy E with a slash through it. Uh, the curvy E means that the word is an element of, where the slash is not an element of. And if you're given a set, in this case A is the set of 0, 1, 2, and 3. You see how you set, bracket, or set braces there to set the set off. And same set, A is 0, 1, 2, 3. Um, if we're dealing with a is an element of statement, 3 is an element of A because 3 is in A. 4 is an element of A, false because 4 is not. All right, so if, if it's true, that means that the number is there. If it's not, it means if it's false, it means the number's not there. All right? The not is, is not an element of, it's just the other way around. The elements of A are 0, 1, 2, and 3. This is saying 3 is not an element of A. Well, it obviously is. That's false. 4 is not an element of A. It's true. So when you see a slash, you're expecting the number not to be there. If you don't see a slash, you're expecting the number to be there for truth. All right? And when you write the elemental symbol properly, the number goes on the left, the element symbol goes in the middle, and the set name goes on the right. So when you're writing these element symbols, the number that you care about is an element of the set you care about. Given the sets A, set of 0, 1, 3, 5, the set B is the set of 0, 4, 6, 7, and set C is the set of 1, 2, 3, 5, 7. They want to know if the statements are true or false, and they're all elements of statements. So, the first one, 5 is an element of A. So we look at set A, which is right here. True. 5 is supposed to be in A, which we can see it is, so that's going to be true. The second statement. It's talking about set C, so we care about this set now. This is telling me that 4 is inside of C. I look, I don't see 4 inside of C. That's false. If I look at the last statement, 5 is not an element of B, so we look at set B. <coughs> this is telling me 5 is supposed to not be in set B. I look at set B, I see 5 isn't in it, so that's going to be true. All right. So elemental statements, true or false, pretty simple got the E, it means it's supposed to be there. If it's got the slash through, it means it's not supposed to be there. You can use your eyes to make the decision whether or not it is true or false. 